It's time for The Local with your host and realtor, Katie McKinney. Hey guys, it's Katie and today I've got the opportunity to have Zach Vanover on the podcast. Zach, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Yes, just say your last name right. Vanover. Vanover. Yeah. Just like it's Easy. spelled. You said it perfectly. It, it perfect. Yeah. Zach, I met um, at church. He is the, tell us what you are. I'm the youth minister at the Woodward Church of Christ, and so I get to hang out with youths. Yes, with you, yeah, with the with youths. The youths. Uh, I wanted to bring Zach on for a number of reasons, um, but one in particular is that right now is kind of a unique climate for kids, youth. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got school starting tomorrow, uh, right? Yeah, for Woodward yeah, is tomorrow, tomorrow. And then Moreland, who is, a lot of our other kids yes. start Friday. Friday, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, if school starting, and by the time this airs, it's going to be it's going to be going. I mean, school's going to be started, so uh, it's unique time because and I, and I've talked to some of the youth and um, unknown, and youth do not like unknown. Nope. They do not. not they at like all. they like schedules typically. Yep. They like schedules. They like to know what's going on. They like to know what to expect. I was like mm-hmm. that as a kid. Yeah. Um, in middle school and high school, I wanted to know what was going to happen. Yep. And right now, there's a lot of unknown. And um, for them, that's kind of why I wanted to have you on is just that um, kind of uh, maybe a a little bit of an insight into how some youth can uh, cope with that. But first, I want to hear a little bit about you. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. (laughs) Switch it up. Yeah. Uh, So, Zach, where are you from and how did you get to Woodward? That's a great question. Um, I'm I'm from Moore, Oklahoma. I grew up in Tornado Alley. Yeah, Uh, that is. Yeah. kind of had normal childhood yeah uh, grew up in the church always loved being um a part of my church mm-hmm. part of my youth group mm-hmm. and had a great youth minister and mm-hmm. so uh as time went on i realized i kind of want to be in a youth group yeah. forever yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be awesome <laughs> and and so uh encouragement from my youth minister and my parents and ended up going to oklahoma christian yes. uh for a year and a half okay. um and uh, I was very good at everything there except right. for the school part. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, the school part I wasn't very focused on, and yeah. so I ended up leaving OC because yeah. uh, I lost some scholarships due to yeah. lower grades and yeah, things. And then I kind of bounced around a little bit, mm-hmm. um, moved to Edmond, then back to Oklahoma City, mm-hmm. then then to Moore with my parents again, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and kind of bounced around until God kind of opened a door for me to uh, do – or speak at the retreat, our spring retreat mm-hmm. here at Woodward mm-hmm. Church of Christ. Yes. Um, uh, out at Lariat Creek mm-hmm. um, Christian Camp. Okay. And uh, I got to speak, and at first it was just going to be me speaking at a retreat. Yeah. And then uh, mm-hmm. after a couple of weeks, they were like, mm-hmm. well, do you want to interview, interview for the job? Yeah. And I was like, well, of yeah, course. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> and they said, we'll make that your interview. Yeah. And, and so went out, did the retreat, got to meet my youth group for the first time. Oh, neat. But without even really knowing it was going to be my yeah. youth group at that time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, within a week, I was mm-hmm. hired. And mm-hmm. I was, within a month, I was moved here moved to here. Woodward. So. so this was your first youth minister job? First ever. Ever, yep. yeah. Yeah, awesome. this is my first job. It's been two years this yeah. past June. Excellent. So, yeah, Excellent. It's, it's, been, it's been crazy because it feels like I've been here forever. Ever, yeah. It's yeah. only been two years, <laughs> yeah. but it's so strange. Yeah. Uh, roller coaster of first two years in ministry though with <laughs> learning a lot i'm yes. sure oh learning curve yes i'm sure sure um and so what is one of your favorite parts about being uh, dealing with the youth specifically uh that's a good i, I think it's probably the energy that they have yeah. because i i think so often as adults we can kind of mm-hmm. get into a routine and yep. get bored and the teens are constantly wanting to do things excited wanting about more. something yes. going on yes and, um when they find something that they are excited about, yeah. they they come to you excited. with all of their yeah. life. Yeah. And so um, that's something that constantly renews me mm-hmm. and, and keeps me going. And yeah. um, I, I think the youth in particular, like there's something about me that I can just relate to them on a weird level. Because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. my, my mom has uh, said several times, 
I, I, I don't get how you do that necessarily, but I was like, I, I don't either. I Probably a bad sign for me <laughs> being an adult going forward. But Like in the kids, yeah, you're still being, hanging out. Exactly, with them, exactly. Out. And I like almost am still one of them because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very childlike and um, I don't know. It, it's just I connect with them and yeah. I have a good time with them. And it's so, a special gift for yeah. sure. It really is. I think I like to th- I like to think so. Oh, yeah. most definitely, most definitely. What do you think is uh, kind of a hurdle? Um, I, I this is kind of kind of from a personal perspective. Um, being in Woodward, uh, actually being involved with the school system for a short time, and then student teaching, uh, and then you know just being in the business world. But what do you think is the hardest part between um, bridging that gap between community? school and church um because it's wide yeah yeah it is um i i think there's a lot of um or or at least there's a there's a divide there Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. there's work that needs to be done from both sides right right. Uh, i think the church can be a lot better about Mm -hmm. reaching out to other people um the church uh, i and i know woodward does a great job of reaching out to their community oh most uh, definitely especially our our, our church of christ does Mm -hmm. um and we we help our own a lot and i think um something that could be beneficial as well Mm -hmm. is just continuing to branch Branch out out. branch out branch out um and just uh, one thing that i i I strongly believe in is that if we are to show the love of christ to everyone Mm -hmm. that we know Mm -hmm. um like that love just grows and grows in the community and 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 i think the more people that see that want Mm -hmm. to be a part of that or understand it and they're like what's what's going on there that's yeah that's interesting um I want I want some of that. I want some of that. Yeah, most definitely. Well, I think a lot of people will ask, well, why do you, as a real estate agent, have a youth minister on your podcast? That was, that was a, a question, a question going through my mind exactly, a little bit. Like, exactly. Sure, yeah. um, but in my opinion, it's part of the community. Mm. Um, it's a, uh, well, in my opinion, it's a huge part of the community. But we've got a lot of great churches. We've got a lot of great organizations um, mm-hmm. that are not part of a specific church mm. that help bridge that gap between um, community, school, and church, or just community and school, you mm, know, yeah. getting involved in the community, reaching out to one another, um, lending that helping hand sure. to the youth. Um, so it's not just churches, it's not just the schools, but it's it's a combination of, a, of all right. of them. And so that's one reason I wanted to have you on um, because yeah. of that. Um, I think, you know, it's something that I saw when I was doing my, again, brief stint as a student teacher, but it is really important because I grew up, you know, of course, in Canadian, which mm-hmm. is a small, small town. I mean, I, I had 40 some uh, kids in my graduating class, so it was much smaller. Yeah. yeah. You, you graduate from somewhere big. A little, uh, How probably, many probably have? close to 600 oh, wow. in our class. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's like, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. a lot. That's, there were people when they were graduating, I was like, I, I don't, don't know. Li- who are they? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't no know who those who people are. are. Yeah. yeah. See, and whenever I was in Canadian, we knew everyone. We knew everybody's right. family, their relatives, their pets, you know, everything. Um, Woodward's and a lot, a little bit bigger, but it's, it's, it's kind of like that as well. It's similar. But probably not it as is. extreme as, as extreme. That, yeah. Exactly. It seemed like in the really like much smaller communities, they go hand in hand, you mm-hmm. know, uh, community church outreach school they're all hand in hand but sure. i think um the youth and and you'll be able to see this from a, a viewpoint because not all you know young uh, people who go to youth or at a church are necessarily um you know as christians mm-hmm. necessarily maybe they just want to find somewhere to go at first right um and and so i kind of wanted to get your insight because of our current climate mm-hmm. and so that's good to hear of how you got to woodward um, and kind of a little bit about being a youth minister in general. But um, what do you feel like are some things that um, are important for the youth to either, if they're listening, um, to kind of think of as they go into the school year or um, as they try to uh, navigate through these times? Um, man, that's a, another really good question. <laughs> a, a lot of zingers. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I think, what I'm here for. I think something for them to be thinking about is that nothing is going to be as you knew it yes nothing is going to be the normal way right. of doing things right. right now yeah and so i think the the most encouraging thing to say is is be flexible yeah be flexible yeah. um at this point we've had to just within our own youth group mm-hmm. we've had to cancel 
our our favorite activities mm-hmm. that we've we ever get to do camps um, and everything yes camps yeah. retreats uh vbs's we we haven't gotten to do things mm-hmm. the way we've we've always done them. done them yeah and so you can't go into school expecting that yeah to or to just pick right back up right. normal as yeah. it was yeah you kind of have to roll with some punches you're gonna mm-hmm. have to you wear the mask when the right. teachers tell you yeah. to wear the mask yeah. you're gonna have to yeah. to wait in line six feet behind right. each other yeah. like in the lo- like there are things that are gonna have to change yeah. there's things that you're gonna have to uh, adapt to mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. one thing that whenever we go on any mission trip or anything like that we mm-hmm. always tell our youth on yeah. those trips is like listen things might go completely, completely wrong, wrong. Yeah. And, and completely sideways mm-hmm you have to be able to adapt to that and mm-hmm. let Jesus do the work. Right. Let, let, God, let God take care of the situation. Yeah. yeah. And and God will find a way to work through that. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. And, and that's one thing that I, I've been trying to stress all summer with our kids is like, yeah, listen, these things are canceling, but yeah. God's still working. Mm-hmm. God's still moving. Mm-hmm. And for our teens, what they need to know is like, listen, it's not going to be the normal way we do things, but... Mm-hmm. It's still going to be effective. It's still going exactly. to be You're still good. learning. Yeah. You're still learning. Right. You're still going. You're still exactly. It's still yeah. effective. The world didn't that. stop. The world's right. still spinning. You're still growing. Yeah. You could still have an opportunity. Yeah. It's not the same. Not the same. But we can. We don't have to be negative and pout mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. We can take what we have and make the best of it. Right. I love that. I love that because actually, what a lot of um, people don't know is that there are quite a few um, youth people um, under 18 years of age that listen to this podcast. And cool. that kind of shocked me a little bit, huh. um, which makes a little bit of sense because we're talking about business. We're talking about kind of, you know, loans and just kind of like adult stuff. And it's kind of neat that um, uh, young youth and, um, and, and then even, you know, college age uh, students and, and people are listening in because one, they're using technology. Yeah. into that but then yeah. too uh they are wanting to learn they're eager to learn yeah. and that's what i love about the youth as well yeah. but i think that's important because they do have to be flexible and i mean everybody has to unfortunately yeah. and yep. i know it's the same way what we're talking about with the youth is the same way for our seniors as well yeah because if you've been yep. doing the same thing for so long and you know the last 50 60 years and you're having to be flexible with that yeah. ooh, that's not good yeah. so it's interesting that it's are, it's really everyone, you yeah. know, from from all generations. Yeah. Um, that's really good advice. And and what would you say uh, to them as far as like an end point? So obviously we're kind of in the midst of it now. Mm-hmm. Um, but what is there to look forward to? I mean, there's everything to look forward mm. to, right? I mean, right. It, you've got, uh, you know, end of school. It might be end of school events that we can actually do. Um, so it might mm-hmm. not just be the here and now, I guess right. is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I think something that we can look forward to is, like, and I think what our society has mm-hmm. kind of been adapting to is mm-hmm. just this new way of doing yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it was several high schools that I've seen mm-hmm. that had their proms canceled on the original right. date be able to pick up and do a, some right. kind of prom right. later on. Um, and, and just a little bit of different mm-hmm. rules, a mm-hmm. little bit, maybe a different location. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's more outside. outside yeah. um, but there's ways to still do those mm-hmm. things that you love mm-hmm. um, while still maintaining social distance, while yeah. still being safe. Our world's still trying to figure everything out. Yeah, yeah. But I, I really feel like by the end of all this, or mm-hmm. if there is an end to it. Yeah, who that, knows? I mean, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're praying that it's yeah. not that way, but <laughs> right. um, once we get to the end of this, mm-hmm. is that we'll have a way to do all this mm-hmm. and, and still be safe. Yeah. And so uh, all those things that our kids are looking forward to, and, mm-hmm. and, and we have uh, seniors who didn't get to do some of the mm-hmm. things they love, mm-hmm. um, or maybe that were just delayed deep into the yeah. summer, yeah. Um, our kids may may have a way of doing some of those right. things because they'll figure it out a way mm-hmm. to do them yeah. safely. And so um goes back to the flexibility. Right. Yeah. If you can stay safe and, and do the things that you're supposed to do now, right. those things when they come later, yeah. you'll be okay. Yeah, doing those yeah. then. Yeah. Right. Well, and I think you hit the nail on the head, I think is how they say that, um, at the very beginning with the flexibility um, it's everybody's having to be flexible, yeah. and so the youth, especially. So, uh, kind of not to put Woodward Church of Christ on the spot, but what are you guys doing differently? Um, what are we doing differently, Zach? <laughs> um, yeah, it's we. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Um, the Kurt the things we're doing, we're we're starting. Uh, 
I think this Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, not today, but this next upcoming mm-hmm. Sunday, mm-hmm. back to kind of our normal schedule. Yeah. But for the last several weeks, a couple months now, mm-hmm. uh, we've been kind of doing social distance mm-hmm. Sunday morning service, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. we've been, um, we've been in pews, but mm-hmm. one pew blocked Block. off each way. Yes. And so, yeah. And then people sitting with their families, right. and um, we that's been going well and great, yeah, and it has um, been. but we are kind of rolling back into mm-hmm. a normal schedule mm-hmm. with some more precautions. Yeah, now we're still going precautions, to, yeah. Now we're going to be still doing social distancing, but everyone's going to have a mask mm-hmm. when they're not sitting in their pew mm-hmm. um, just to continue our safety. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing uh, um, classes again, mm-hmm. which we haven't mm-hmm. done in a long time. Right. Um, I mean, it's been since we left mm-hmm. all this or, I know, or, I feel or like started all this in stuff. In the spring, yeah. Was it mid-March mm-hmm. almost? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that we kind of stopped Mm -hmm. and so we're picking it back up again getting teachers again Mm -hmm. um and everybody's required to wear a mask Mm -hmm. or do this or do that um and the youth is the youth meeting uh the youth is meeting Uh, it's interesting the youth have kind of been meeting uh, Mm -hmm. together we've been meeting outside in people's backyards and things and so they 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 have all been together. It's almost mm-hmm. like they've quarantined together. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just they, they didn't, but um, they've been hanging out mm-hmm. all the time. They've been going hunting or doing mm-hmm. this and that, yeah. staying at each other's houses. And so uh, we felt a little bit better about them hanging out mm-hmm. than others, but I yeah. think we're still going to be wearing masks during yeah. during class, things mm-hmm. like that. But the youth are going to be meeting again, which is Good. very exciting it because is. It that's, is exciting that's the see. best place for them to be and, yeah. Um, yeah. And all together again. Yeah. So. Well, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I mean, that's good to hear. I kind of want that's that's why I wanted you on is just to give a perspective of the youth. I mean, yeah. you deal with them every single day and yeah. and maybe not everybody does. You know, I don't have right. a lot of uh, teenagers in my life um, right. right now and I don't have anybody in that really that age range personally. And, right. and I think that's the way for a lot of people. So it's not. Um, I think, you know, it, it is interesting that they listen to this and mm-hmm. that they say, OK, I can be flexible. There yeah. is a light at the end of the tunnel in more ways than one. Yeah. Um, yep. and yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and then also that it, it's not going to be normal, but it can, it's going to be effective. Yes. And it can yeah. be effective. It yeah. can be effective with with work. But it's wonderful to have you here in Woodward. Um, and I may have asked this in a little bit of a different way, but what's your favorite part about living in Woodward? I know you're not from here. You're from Tornado Alley. But right. where, um, by the way, more, my sister-in-law lives there. Great she uh, helps a custom home builder. So oh, interesting. Uh, you know, homes and more. Right. Are you gonna yeah. Be a real estate agent. More? Yeah. Okay. Bad joke. Sure. Uh, I, anyway. <laughs> sorry, I went right over my head. I think. <laughs> oh no. no. Uh, I was like, tornadoes knock down homes, know. so she yeah, probably yeah, makes yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> like that's all. That's what I was thinking. She, I she does a great job, but yeah. Uh, but it's it's interesting because uh, more is kind of known as as tornado area. Yeah. Uh, yep. Tornado town. I, was, I know there's a lot right. of great people there too obviously right. but what's your favorite part about kind of starting this new career um here in woodward um it, it's interesting I've, I've never lived in a small town okay and so this is kind of my first small town experience right, even right. though uh woodward's kind of bigger than just a tiny town right, like you definitely right. lived in a yeah, small town, I was in a small town yeah. um but but for me this is this, this is my small, small town experience small and town. so uh that's been something to get used to yeah, yeah. um hearing gunshots yeah. because there's people uh shooting guns yeah, in the middle practicing. of the day or right and, or and very little i very rarely hear sirens yes. which is really really nice yes, that's true. um but i i think woodward specifically i think it, it's just there's just kind people here yeah. i think they're just people who um aren't aren't just mean they're just <laughs> mean people that live in cities sometimes. i know they're just I know. rude people um and, and <laughs> Whenever you get around, especially w- with the church that mm-hmm. I'm at, yeah. uh, I, I just see a very uh, kind mm-hmm. and understanding mm-hmm. people and yeah. people who want to keep growing and keep uh, learning. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- at least that's the experience I've had with the people I've I've connected to. And yeah. um, a- and I think that's ki- a small town can kind of be negative because everybody knows each other and right. can be poisonous. Yeah. But I haven't experienced any yeah. of that in Woodward, which is really, really great. And yeah. Uh, I, I think Woodward itself is just 
I don't know. It's been a great experience. Good. Uh, now that I've I've got a dog and yeah. I can just kind of like <laughs> walk him around. Yeah. And not fear of cars. cars or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything Sirens terrifying. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I, it's neat. just it, it's been it's, it's been, been great. Good. Yeah. Well, it's it's great to have you here. I'm I glad know, to be here. Thanks. I know there's a lot of youth, but there's a lot of people that really enjoy everything that you do for the community and all of our um, youth uh, leaders and and ministers and different churches in the community uh really appreciate all the work that you're doing and uh, thanks for coming on the podcast thanks thanks for having me i'm glad to be here yeah of course thanks